Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to start dropshipping on eBay by finding products to list. Now this is presuming you already have a PayPal account and an eBay account. This is just a real easy method to find products that are already selling so you can sell them yourselves. Now before I go ahead and do this, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I highly suggest going and hitting subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos because I upload daily about making money online. So let's go ahead and dive in and head over to eBay. Actually I've headed over to Amazon instead and we're going to do it from here. Now this method you can use on any um, store, any retailer, Argos, Domu, Walmart, no matter where you are you can do this with no matter what store so all we're going to do you can even do this with eBay and I'll do another video on that but today we're going to use Amazon so what we do is put in a keyword this keyword can be anything so let's just put in um, think of a keyword mine's gone blank let's put in kitchenware kitchenware set so let's have a look at this now what we're doing is just trying to find products so we can find that product put it into eBay and find other drop shippers so what we're going to do hmm, 21.89 let's take a look at this so now all we do we take the title of this item so we copy that, not like that, like that, press copy, head over to eBay and plug that in the search bar. Now hopefully this is going to pull up a bunch of other people drop shipping. Now this is just like one method you can use to find products if you're doing snoptimization or even sniping. I prefer snop optimization. But anyway, as you can see, this has pulled up 10 results. People selling this item. How much was it on Amazon? So it's £21.89. Scroll up a little bit. As you can see, someone's trying to sell it for £35.89. So let's go ahead and take a look at that listing. I'm going to close that tab. Go back. Come on. Taking so long. So, we know this is a drop shipper. He's selling it for £35.89. There's what? £21 something on here. £21.89. He's selling it for £35.89. Now, this is a drop shipper because he's got the same title. That's how we found him. But now what we're going to do is go over to his sold listings and see what items he has been selling. So we do that by coming over here. I also like to look at other people's feedback. It's just something I like to do. Because that way as well you can normally tell straight away if they are a dropshipper. Expensive item which is overdue. Item not available. Seems seller can't count as he has no stock. So this is more likely more than likely a dropshipper. So let's go to his view items for sale. Now let's go to his sold listings. We do that by coming over here, left hand on the left hand side of the screen down here. You can either go to completed listings or sold listings. I normally go to sold listings. Now we have 737 results. So they've sold 737 items recently. Now what we can do is go through each one of these. Let's open that one, see how many he's sold. He only sold one. Now ideally we want to find items that have sold more than twice. Ideally more than four. Even better if, it, if it's above seven. We just want to find hot selling items so we can potentially sell them ourselves. But let's scroll down. 37, let's open this. 
See, this dropshipper doesn't really optimize their titles properly. Now, if you want to understand optimization, I will link a video up here in the right-hand corner. So go through and check that out. Because my method is SN optimization. So I find items like this that have been selling. Then say this has sold for and sold for recently. Then I would take this listing, sell it myself but completely optimize the title to make more sales that way. As you can see, he's only sold one, so let's go back. Scroll down, 29, let's open that. He's only sold one. Let's go to his completed listings. Open that. So let's take a little look. Let's open this one. See how many he's sold. Sold two. So let's have a look how often he sold them. First of April he sold one. So let's open a different tab. 83. Now this process is boring but you can find some really good items that sell really well by doing this method plug my charger in Hold on. there we go but we have identified a drop shipper and that didn't take long at all did it so let's keep going two pack 25 pack let's open that Come on. Sold one. So he hasn't, or they haven't, actually got items that sell quite a lot. Or if they have, it's going to take a little bit longer just to try and find them. Sold one. So let's try a different item. So I'm going to go back over to Amazon. Amazon. Scroll down. 23 let's try this one so I'm going to open that I'm going to take the title from this now by putting in the keyword up here and just finding items then searching it in eBay you can just put, do that in eBay and I'll do another video on that maybe my next video so let's take some of this title I'm going to copy that I'm going to close that one Close that one, go back. Like I said, this this is the boring part. But if you're willing to do it, you can find items that sell really, really well and then sell them yourself, optimize the title, and make even more sales. So how much is that on here? That is $23.99, $30, $31. Let's open this one. Come on, two available. Got quite a lot of items that they have sold, so that's good. Let's go and have a look. Again, now we're going to go to their sold listings. Let's just take a look at their feedback. Oh, not their neutral. I want to look at their negative. See, that's not bad. If these are a dropshipper, they got four bad negative feedback in the last 12 months. Run out of stock. Very bad. Never arrived. Not received. Let's take a look at their view items for sale. Now, I've spoken about this in many other videos. Bloody hell, they've got 20,000 listings. They might be doing bulk. But anyway, I've spoken about this in other videos once you find other dropshippers that are selling quite a lot of items and you like the items they are selling then what you want to do is take their store name put that into a spreadsheet and build out a sellers list this way you've always got sellers you can go to to find their best selling items and sell them yourselves so let's go down to their completed listings 
See, sometimes you can find dropshippers really, really quick. Well, you can find them quick anyway. But sometimes you can find items really quick, then other times not so fast. So these are quite low selling items. I can't see there being a lot of profit on these ones. Ideally, I like stuff above £20. Because my thought process is as well, if I've got something that sells just shit tons of it each day at £3.13 with a 50p profit, say I'm selling, selling 10 a day, then I've got to place 10, 10 orders a day for an item that isn't really giving me much profit. I'd rather sell higher profit margin items with lower orders, if that makes sense. So let's take a look at this. Only one sold. We go back. Let's take a look at this one. Scroll down. So he's only sold one of them. So again, let's try and find a different item. I normally find stuff quicker than this. So let's go to kitchenware again. Scroll down. So let's take a look. 24, 19, 12 pounds 20 quid. Let's take a look. So this video is going to be a little bit longer today. Most of my videos last normally about 10 minutes. But today is taking a little bit longer, which sometimes happens. So I'm going to make this video, try and make it about 15 minutes. Let's copy and paste this title. Again, we do this just to find other dropshippers. Sometimes, well, we find the dropshippers pretty fast, as you can see. But to find good selling items can sometimes take a little bit longer. Then once you find those best selling items, also put them in a spreadsheet as well build out a list of items that you want to list on eBay then that way when you go to list you're not listing one by one by one you know, you're not finding the item then listing it finding the item and listing it you're putting that item into a spreadsheet then when you go to list you've got a whole list of items and you can list them pretty fast now 1529 so much profit on that 16 18 well now it's the same one different colour but £18.38 they're £12 over on here you've got the different colours yep okay so let's have a look at this dropshipper so one not really that fussed Bella so Bella let's go and have a look let's go to view items Let's go to their sold. Oh, so look, they've sold 14 of them. Let's take a little look. <coughs> this person just looks like an Amazon dropshipper by the images, but let's take a look. They sold 14. When did they sell them? Let's click on that and have a little look. April, March, March, March. So this is a pretty good selling item. £37.59. Price has gone up a little bit. So let's have a look, see where they're sourcing the item from and how much, how, what the price is over on their supplier. So we're going to scroll down. How we do this is go to their description, highlight, right click and search in google now doing this normally pulls up the supplier that they are using for that item if they are a dropshipper so let's take a little look i'm going to close that tab and look it looks like amazon so let's scroll down 30 pound 99 he's selling it for 37 see not a lot of profit 
but again we now know that this is quite a good selling item scroll up we know they are sourcing it from Amazon we know the price so now what I would do I would put this into a spreadsheet I'd actually take the URL from Amazon but then I'd put this into a spreadsheet build out that list of items that I want to list so I've always got so every time I go to list items I've always got a spreadsheet full of items that I can list and it takes a lot of the thought process out of it it's just finding the items to begin with so what I would now do if I was to list this item I would put my 40% markup on top of this and then that's what I would do hmm. I think there'd be people willing to pay depends what good quality is this let's take a look at the reviews so they've got really good reviews what's that four and a half stars so we know this is actually a pretty good product so yeah I'd probably put my 40% markup on this and then sell it that way and then I would completely re-optimize the title what have they got in it new so you don't want that at the beginning the beginning of your title is the most important so I wouldn't put new at the beginning of a title maybe at the end if I had three spaces left brother colors embroidery polyester machine machine thread oh, okay replacement sewing I reckon I could out title this person out title my competition mark this up 40% and sell it but now we've ident identified a drop shipper they've probably got quite a lot of good items I'll check that one I'd filter this as well actually by 20 and then I'd press enter so now I would go through all of these see like 834 items I would go through all of these see how oh, pardon me see how often they are selling and see if I want to sell them myself and don't forget to, once you have found a decent drop shipper then put their store name into a spreadsheet and build out a sellers list that way you've always got drop shippers you can go to to find their best selling items and snoptimize them now I'm gonna keep I'm gonna cut that video just here I hope you liked it if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up go and hit subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing that being said I've been Paddy this has been stacking profit and I'll see you again soon